Well, tonight, the childhood BMI chart is getting a makeover. This is a really disturbing story. The CDC revised the chart to track the rising cases of severe obesity in kids who were not previously on the chart. Now, this old chart went up to a BMI, a body mass index, of 37. Officials have had to grow that chart to fit all kids all the way up to 60. The CDC also now has a special category to track kids ages 2 to 19. Previously, they did not. Experts say that severe obesity in kids has nearly quadrupled in America over the last few decades. Let that sink in. It hasn't doubled. It hasn't tripled. It's up four times in the past couple of decades. The goal of the new chart is to help guide better conversations with parents and doctors. And also, the old charts hadn't been updated since 2000, so they felt that it was time. But, Bets, the reason to me it's so disturbing is because this is a short period of time we're talking about since 2000. Th 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 that, that number would have quadrupled, mm -hmm. and I think it's fairly easy to know why. The electronics play a huge role in it's it. It's stealing so much of our young people's time, mm -hmm. it leaves them less time to go out and play kickball. Yeah. or basketball, or something physical that is helping them avoid falling on this obesity chart. This is stunning to me. I know, and it's it's hard, right? As parents, you, you want your kids to stay busy, and, and you, you know where they are when they're on the electronics. You know, it, it's really yeah. tough. Uh, we're so busy now. Parents are overwhelmed with responsibilities and work, and it, it, it's just hard to keep track of everything. The problem is, I think, that we're letting things slide and and parents you know in all the busyness that they have they don't have resources that they can turn to and rely sure. on to say hey I need some help with this I need somebody to help my kid get out and and get some exercise right. and whatnot there's a lot of families their kid can't go out and play in the neighborhood right so what are you supposed to do with them I know it's a it's a real dilemma I think like everything else bets moderation mm -hmm. is is very very important and the the eating habits and the health habits that you set in your early years, particularly until you're a young adult at 18, right. those are most likely going to carry with you your entire life. It's very difficult to break out of those trends once you're into your 20s. It's, uh, it's alarming, and we certainly have to keep an eye on it, on the yeah. micro and on the macro as well. Definitely.